Hello everyone, thank you for having me. I'm so glad to talk about how can we help people and businesses nowadays. I'm excited because this weekend is the starting point, the beginning of our expanding program abroad. Uh, so thank you Mr. Castanas for the opportunity to uh, start this talk. Uh, so before we begin to take a tour through this multi-billion dollar project, let me share a quick story with you. I remember it was back in uh, 2012, 2012 I think, when I was doing two jobs as a teacher and private lesson teacher to kids and simultaneously was trying a business to build a business. So I've met a guy from Oklahoma, if I think. Uh, I went to a conference, a two-day conference like that, like this one, sorry, uh, but actually you have to go to the place. So um, I was waiting for him uh, in the hotel lobby for a couple of hours and um, I remember asking him, you know, how can I do better? What, what tips can you give me? And he said something that, you know, completely changed the way I thought about business and time back then. He said, Dinos, if you'd like to have a great company, if you'd like to have free time and to be financially free, you have to take whatever project you build in three different time zones. He said, think about this. When Greece market is slipping, Tokyo, for example, is up and running and buying and consuming. So that kind of changed the way I thought about, you know, how the world works. Uh, when the market here is slipping, another market is opening. So even if you have a business 24 hour running in one country, you lose the advantage to sell in other countries as well. So that was me. I'm having a thing with the PowerPoint. Maybe, ah, uh, yeah, that was me. So it is essential for you to understand that this is not a guy <laughs> uh, made for, from entrepreneurship material. Yes, that's right. Uh, I was 22 back then. You see long hair. I didn't know anything about business, as you can obviously see. So I was starting back then and I realized that you have to, you know, understand business only if you start doing it. So let's see what are those four pillars. So um, let's see the pillars. Affiliate marketing, digital agency, online franchise and discount markets. Let's start with affiliate marketing. What is it? So affiliate marketing is a successful marketing model where affiliates promote the products or the service of advisors and receive a prearranged commission percentage for every lead generated. Then to put it in plain English, you get paid for the work you do and the overall turnover you create. Affiliate marketing or AM for short is a large dynamic and global digital marketing forced to recon with it. It flourishes online and is one of the most popular and easiest way of creating a business online because it requires uh, most of the times almost zero, zero initial investment. So we see here some statistics. Since 2015, revenue from AM, affiliate marketing uh, programs, grows by 10% annually. From 2012, from 2015, sorry, till now, 81% of brands rely on affiliate marketing and the globally statistics for 2020 till now saw a staggering 19.03 billion size market. So let's see a few of the top affiliate marketing companies. So Vetsop. Vetsop offers customer service seven days a week and their commissions are 10%. Yeah, it's okay for pets. Corner stock, stock baby gift. Good commissions, they say, 12% considered a great deal. Bodybuilding.com, they pay 5% for returning customers and 15% for new ones. And then we have Skimlinks. They have a nice selection of retail merchants for 25% commission. Here we have Jet, the next one. This is an affiliate marketing program that sells almost everything they say, including groceries. And they have 2.5% commissions. And then we have GoDaddy. GoDaddy is a service community with domains and stuff and offers 50, uh, no, sorry, 40% commission as we see here. The thing is that we have something better. 
uh, we're talking about a project of 90, yeah, 90% 90 commission. So, let's see. Here we have an affiliate marketing growth. Uh, I searched and I made an, a simple diagram uh, from 2016 to 220. So 2016, 13 billion side market. 17, 13.3. We have a, a fall, 2000, uh, 2018 for to 13 billion again. And now we are 19.03. So the next pillar is digital agency. Why? Why not? We live in a world of online, an online work, especially with COVID right now. And so why don't we uh, get involved with social media marketing, email campaigns and stuff? So what is a digital agency? A digital agency is considered, as you probably would know, if you have tried to market yourself or brand yourself online, a group of people, a team that can provide you with a lovely website, a great complicated shop maybe, and even a mobile application and show you why you probably need one. What most won't tell you is how you can operate them, what exactly you do need, and mainly what you don't need. Except, of course, if you pay a serious amount of money for consulting. Uh, as we can see, some statistics. The global digital marketing software market size valued at 14, uh, 43, sorry, point. 8 billion in 2019 and is expected to register uh, a growth 17.4% to until 2027. So, a lot of statistics you can find online yourself. According to research conducted by Singular Marketing, uh, there has been a 29% increase in social media marketing activities in March 2020 as compared to the previous quarter. So, the digital era has revolutionized the way organizations are executing their business strategies and operations. Digital marketing software has provided companies an effective tool to connect with its various stakeholders in the market through multiple channels as email, instant messaging, social networking, and I would say YouTube and all the platforms, LinkedIn as well. The rapid penetration of the internet, increasing usage of social media, and the ensuing increase in spending on digital marketing by companies are driving the adoption of digital marketing software. So combine it to the outbreak of COVID-19 has resulted in a rise, a total rise in the number of people staying indoors, okay? That have resulted in an increased need of entertainment. So uh, this is likely to impact the, the way companies market their products and their services. As governments across the globe have urged their citizens to stay home, and have mandated social distancing, people are socializing through online networking. So we will see more of those guys with the blazers and ties on on the top and their pajamas or boxers instead of pants on the bottom. This has resulted in a rise, a total rise in online marketing. So let's see a diagram. So from 2016 to 2027 expected. So, what happened in 2016? There was an online business model that created. It's called all-in-one business model. Uh, and it created to solve this problem, providing especially to the small business owners everything they could possibly need from doing their first step to internet to the full two-year strategy with every software campaign, guidance, and remarketing they would possibly need in order to generate enough revenue to self-sustain their online business. So, OGI has developed multiple software platforms for you to choose from. You can either choose to be a customer of these platforms, or you can also be an independent business owner and resell those tools to your own clients and commissions. So, let me introduce you in bullets points uh, the best products of this online digital agency. So, let's see. We have websites, ESOP, email marketing and campaigns, and sales funnels. Mobile applications, online booking, sales funnels, webinars, online calls, and that's just a few of them. So, this gets us to the third pillar, the online franchise. Why? Because let's see, let's see that you'd like to get involved in those markets. Let's get you would 
you want to get a piece from those uh, amazing market, uh, marketing strategies and businesses, how you would do that? You would have to get to know the softwares, go to some university or maybe attend some seminars or you could get someone to give them for you, to set it up for you and run it. So we are talking about franchise here. Franchise is a method of distributing product or services involving a franchisor who establishes the brand's trademark or trade name and a business system. We're talking about a system. And then a franchisee who pays a royalty and an often an initial entrance fee for the right to do business under the franchisor's name and system. If you look online, there are a thousand uh, franchises and different types of franchises. So let's take a look of a few global statistics for the industry. The franchise sector is an important yet often overlooked component of US exports. Uh, if you look online again, in the United States only, uh, the franchise business directly accounts for more than 733,000 establishments that support nearly 7.6 million direct jobs and 674.3 billion of economic output for the US economy and 3% of gross domestic product. Strong franchise market, particularly attractive for international solutions. So we can see the numbers rising in this sector. So some worth mentioning statistics as well. As Mark Siebert, CEO of the iFranchise Group has asserted, asserted, sorry, franchise companies better be prepared for the coming boom in franchise sales, or they are likely going to miss out on once in a lifetime opportunity as exactly he said. Sibert also said in a recent editorial, when certain factors are in place, franchise sales tend to climb. So what's more, uh, more amazing is that we see a great rise, a great growth. Uh, 5,500 more people set up their own businesses under an exciting, existing umbrella brand now than in 2018, the numbers and the statistics we can provide you and you can search online are limitless. So, if you let your figures search in the internet, you will find some digital marketing franchise companies. So let's see some examples. Young Pro, we have franchise fee 2,000 to 44,000 and initial investment from 4,000 to 50,000. Dream Vacations, Super Glass Windshield Repairs, Initial investment from 10,000 to 30,000. Cruise planners, initial investment from 2,000 to 22,000. And see, let's see some popular franchises, the UPS. You, we all know UPS stores. Franchise fee, $30,000. Initial investment, 138,000 to 460. Almost half a million. Dunkin' Donuts, initial investment, 189,000. 700 to um, 1.5 million. Remax with estates, initial investment, sorry, from 37,000 and McDonald's. Uh, now, these numbers, initial investment, 1 million. I don't know if you have 1 million. I didn't when I was starting. So, the franchise we suggest is the only one business model. You have uh, great tools, you have online, almost zero uh, expensive uh, and cost is monthly. And it's an umbrella company that houses different standalone direct selling programs and combines them into something big. It's one of these programs offers that completely uh, offers, sorry, a different set of digital products and services, ranking from online marketing tools and automated webinar creation systems to shopping platforms and networking tools, as you see, with a payout up to 90%. And Mr. Customers, just remind me uh, how much money someone has to invest. Uh, sorry, didn't hear you. Yeah. Uh, it's a thousand bucks. A thousand dollars. That's it. Okay. Enough said. So let's go to the fourth and final pillar. Uh, discounts. So let's say you want to do something on your own. Let's say you want to create a, a, a business online or a franchise. 
and you do not have those this amount of money. So you start saving. You start to savings to do savings. So let's make savings. More than 64% of online consumers wait to buy things until they go for sale. Whereas more than 59% search for promo codes before buying anything online. I didn't know that. I was staggered, staggered and amazed when I first saw that. Around 30% of, all of online consumers sign up for price tracking. Price tracking service to get an email when price drops for the item they want to buy. Whereas 22% of consumers purchase products from their preferred brands only when on sale or with coupon. So discounts are a trend and everybody wants discounts. Okay, so discounts, where we have discounts and where we can get discounts. I'm delighted to say that we have discounts in 1,200 stores in Greece, 350,000 big branding shops and 400 hotels globally, including Vodafone Supermarket, NG, Butterworld, and very big companies. And we have also uh, many hotels and great deals uh, online traveling. So to sum up, we have an affiliate marketing industry uh, that makes 19.03 billion market, uh, size market, sorry. Digital agency, 43.08 billion market. Online franchise, 129. So discounts wanted by everyone. And I'm delighted to say you congratulations. You have just witnessed, you have just discovered an 129 billion global market, low cost and online franchise opportunity. So uh, let me share you, with you something that I just read. Uh, and it's completely irrelevant with the project, but let me share it with you. Did you know that all the energy that we have, all the cars, everything moving, all the lighting, all the air conditioning of the world in one year is equivalent to two minutes of the sun? Does that change the way you think about energy when you flip the light switch? I think that in the same way, we need to rethink about franchise and online opportunities and business in 2020. And because we live in crazy days and uh, with this pandemic goes on and this year, nobody can defy Murphy's law. Uh, I think we can create something for the years to come. Financial reporters, businessmen and mentors uh, say that it's going to be twice as hard uh, as the global collapse in 2008. But personally, I have been, never been more hopeful about our future. I'm not talking about blind optimism. And uh, let me share uh, some uh, quote from oh, Mr. Obama here. That he says that there are two kinds of hopes. The hope that ignores the enormity of the task ahead and all the, the, the standing blocks that are in that there are in our path, and uh, the kind of hope that it's just a wistful idealism that allows us to just sit on the sidewalk and serve, and serve from a fight. Uh, but I'm talking about a, a hope that we have purely in us and we can see in kids. The hope that uh, says that we can do everything. So I do have that hope, unless. We have the courage to keep reaching and pursuing and working with each other, to searching and fighting with all those problems around us and in our environment, in, in our everyday life. The idea that if you are willing to work hard, to dedicate and sacrifice your free time, which you do not have, I know, the money you do not have, and to follow a system, a working timetable, to work within a team. If you have this burning desire, no matter who you are, where you come from, what you look like. It doesn't matter if you're black or white, yellow, or maybe blue like a Smurf. Or if you're younger, old, rich or poor. I mean, if you have this energy and hope, you're going to believe that you can do it. So in a time of global chaos, instantly gratification and instability, where our fates collide, hope is real. So 
there is such a thing, I think, as false science. We hear a lot about this COVID pandemic and some, uh, you know, uh, origin and, you know, people say a lot. There is such thing as false promises. There is such thing as false starts. I have experienced a bunch of them where in my beginning. I'm sure you too. But there is not such thing as false hope. So we hope to expand this business and help people create a better future for their families. So welcome to the Billion Dollar Project of 2020. Hope is here. I wish you have make to, I wish you to make money, have fun, and help people. Thank you for listening to me.